In this scattered and cursed world, we wait for a brighter day to come. Okay, we're still actually in the dark and dingy confines of a London underground station that has been made up, especially for Metro Last Light. Uh, we went a little bit hands-on with it. Good, solid chunk of gameplay. Though yeah. you've only been... Yeah, the, the demo they showed was like three hours, they said. I got to play around 20 minutes or so. Uh, <laughs> really scripted the first part. I, I know it opened up later. It was like a, a lot of variation. There's scripting in the beginning, some shooting, uh, some sneaking around, and then some survival horror elements thrown in there as they well. They just toss everything yeah. in there. But I find with the stealth section, you said, yeah, 20 minutes in, so it is highly scripted to begin with. Yeah. Um, I went a little bit further, th maybe about, around about an hour, maybe an hour and a half of gameplay. It's an interesting title. Um, I think it's th they make an emphasis of how they've mapped the controls to be a bit more like Call of Duty, which is fair enough, yeah. everybody does that. I find the uh, the controls were a little bit sticky, though. Did you find that? It was, sort of like was kind of hard aiming. Yeah, mm. I agree. But yeah, I mean, like copying the Call of Duty control scheme isn't necessarily a, a bad thing. I mean, there's still a lot of depth to this game, a lot of mm. role-playing elements and doing minor choices and, and choosing between your ammunition and stuff like that and side quests and all that. I mean, we, we talked to Dimitri, uh, the writer of the actual series, and he's saying about the plot for this one is very much, it's, it's World War IV um, yeah. and going on between the different metro stations underground um, and you sort of stumble across basically one station's plans to go to a town on everyone else, yeah. basically. So uh, th they find this uh, vault, Deep Six, they call it, which is like a bunker that whoever controls that bunker like can survive this apocalypse. So there's this civil war breaking mm. out, and I thought I saw Hitler in there. I definitely a guy with a Hitler moustache. Yeah, like, and he was torturing thing. the player or <laughs> something. It's, it's like a shorthand for evil dude. Just yeah, basically exactly. do a little Hitler moustache, yeah. you don't need to do There's anything some, more. Some kind of like a Nazi symbol thingy. <laughs> um, but yeah, so you, you discover this and essentially the, the portion of the gameplay, uh, portion of the demo was us trying to escape this station and yeah. warn the others. And that went into basically a massive, massive stealth section as so you're trying to work through your yeah. work your way through the stations. And I have to say that the enemy AI is really dumb. It might have something to do with those masks. Maybe you can't hear anything. Yeah, I mean, you got this uh, watch on you that mm. says like you are invisible basically. And, and if it's not... You know, saying that you can be spotted or, wh or whatever, but I mean, you, you don't actually have to do like the stealth. Never. You can go run and gun, but you're not going to survive very long because it's, it's really difficult. You got to preserve your ammunition. Yep, to say that for, for the demo here, they actually give us a lot more ammunition. Yeah. Than apparently, we will get in the final game. And I would have actually preferred to try that because, as it was, like you said, you can just run and gun and not really care about stuff. But yeah. I can imagine in the final game, you're really having to score those headshots or really do the stealth yeah. because ammo is so scarce. Um, talking about the stealth, I mean, I am awful at stealth <laughs> in first person adventures. This confident to just walk through because it felt that easy. So perhaps it's yeah. not really, the stealth part is more atmospheric than, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's hard doing stealth in, in first person because you don't, mm. you can't hold, control your environments yeah. as, as well as in third person, but. And um, we also should mention, so saying about the watch, um, s sort of showing whether you can be seen or not, there's also that timer on it. Yeah. Um, a lot of portions of the game, you're spent above ground and you have to wear gas masks as the original. Mm. Um, and you have to make sure you collect filters because you always have a limited amount of filtered air before you start, well, choking to death, yeah. really. So in the original game, it was like really harsh weather. It was cold, it was snow. Now it's kind of springtime and the environments look like amazing. Mm. It's like sun and, and trees and like... Uh, actual growth outside, but it's still very lethal. There are still mutants running around, and, and you're gonna, as Colin said, you're gonna keep track on your filters. And, and I mean, having that constant timer is, is kind of like nerve wracking because you wanna stay and look at the environments, you wanna listen to all the characters say, but still, you know that it's killing you slowly by doing this. Mm -hmm. And even going underground is not really healthy for right. you either because right, yeah. basically. If they're not trying to get you to help them, they're just shooting you. Yeah. Uh, and that enemy AI again, part outside the stealth section, is pretty brutal. Uh, once we started running and gunning in these environments, they're, they're, they're pretty much flanky and everything like that, yeah. which was quite 
invigorating, really, rather than some of the games we've played where people just sort of hide behind cover and just let you pot shot them, yeah. which I thought was quite nice. Um, what else can we say about this this fine, fine game? I mean, if you like the original, you're absolutely going to like this, I, I think. I mean, it looks, the production values are, are really high mm. and, and they seem to build on the strengths of the previous games, really really dense atmosphere and, and uh, like it, it feels great, the, the controls were a bit off, but uh, it seemed like a really solid product. Definitely, and the sort of la when I was getting to the last bit of the demo, ex did start opening up and yeah. it felt a bit better and started getting into stuff like there's a lot of you're traveling through the uh, the underground system but there's a lot of little side rooms you can go in little side quests basically like there's a particular point where you can save a civilian from being attacked and killed mm. by soldiers and mm. that sort of brings you into the story I feel and I think once you get that level of immersion that will be a lot better it will feel a lot better and perhaps the inconsistencies with the combat maybe the stealth won't feel quite as bad oh as yeah. you're enjoying it but Still got some time before Metro comes out, but by the looks of it, we'll definitely be interested to check oh yeah. out the final game. It is written that the devastation we brought upon ourselves will eat us alive. 